Good morning. I know I promised out and about. To my word, we were out and about, at least for a short time. But then Denez re-injured the foot that she had been nursing last week. And grateful for all the good Samaritans that responded, even the, the large dump truck that was looming as Denez dropped her bike right on the double yellow line in the middle of a road. Uh, we were taken care of even in our time of distress and in need. Got her home safely. She is icing the foot. Gonna take a few days off on that front. I am going to use these days that we had left to do some work around the ranch here and hopefully get down to Jasmine's house and finish that playground for Diana. So gonna switch it up a little bit, get some things done, make sure that Denez is on the mend and roll with the punches. So I wanna turn our attention to perhaps the most scathing report card that Jesus issues in Revelations 3.14. It's the church of Laodicea. And G the thing that has offended Jesus so greatly is apathy. And if there's a word that I could use to describe the despair that people fall into, whether we're talking about the homeless community or our nation as a whole, is apathy. The world has broken us. Too much chaos, too much noise, too much drama. I just don't care anymore. We've lost hope. We've lost vision. And that's why much of the world feels like evil can just go wherever it pleases. You see, what Jesus is looking for is either sin to address, and you'll notice that as he addresses the sins of the other churches, is the report cards for those churches are, you're doing great in these areas, and these are the areas that I need you to clean up. You're still making room for people who are courting sin. You're still making room for sexual immorality. Get that part cleaned up, and you'll be good to go. Church of Laodicea, Jesus, I have no idea where to start. You don't care about anything. If we allow that mirror to be used on us, is that where we find ourselves? That truly is the most difficult of corrections to make. We're storing hope once hope is lost. Now, all, not all is lost. Jesus spends time here in Revelations counseling the church of Laodicea on what steps to make. Just as he's counseling you and I on what steps that we can take to break out of apathy and find passion. Revelations 3, 14. Write this letter to the angel of the church in Laodicea. This is the message from the one who is the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's new creation. I know all the things you do, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other. But since you are like lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich. I have everything I want. I don't need a thing. And you don't realize that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. So I advise you to buy gold from me, 
gold that has been purified by fire. Then you will be rich. Also buy white garments from me, so you will not be shamed by your nakedness. An ointment for your eyes, so you will be able to see. I correct and discipline everyone I love. So be diligent and turn from your indifference. What is the cure to, to what our nation suffers with? Turn to God. Take that small step of faith and apply his word to our lives. Accept salvation so that we may be clothed in the proper garments. Become passionate about the love that God has for us. As harsh as these words are, Jesus is reminding us that correction comes to those that God loves. He does not want to see the church of Laodicea fall away. God's hope in us is everlasting. Let us respond with the same. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We pray, Lord, today for a restored hope. We pray, Lord, for more passion. We have been beaten into submission by this world. The environment is so overcrowded with thoughts and opinions and gossip and lies and drama. It just feels like too much. It's funny that the most clever weapon of the devils is to just get us to lay down and not care. Help us break through today, Lord. Help your words find our hearts. Breathe into these dry bones. For your glory and honor, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, don't know what tomorrow brings, obviously, or today brings, obviously, but we're going to do our best. Continue to pray for one another. Looking forward to what God has for us this week. Till I see you again, know that I love you and I miss you, and be good. <laughs>